Welcome, Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness. So, the Contraptions DLC came out today, and it's a good thing, too, because we're here at Spectacle Island on my little platform that I use to uh, experiment with power stuff, and uh, we have a couple of dangerous prisoners that are behind this uh, combination lock door. Now, I'm well aware that there are mods that we can use to lock doors, but this was much more challenging to do, and I had actually done this using logic gates in a mod called Advanced Settlement Power by a guy named CAD PNQ, but we can now do this actually with logic gates that are provided by Bethesda and although CAD PNQ did really great work the logic gates from Bethesda I think are super neat because they show the symbol on them and they also show you the status of all the inputs and outputs if you highlight them when you are in the build mode so that is a uh, intimidating set of wiring and you may or may not choose to try and build this yourself so if we get done with the demonstration and you decide to uh, click off the video um, if you liked it hit the like button if you want to see more hit subscribe and if you didn't like tell me why so let's uh, let's go in here and demonstrate how this works so we're gonna stand on this pressure plate we're going to hit this switch so that we lock the door open and get our shock baton out because these guys are dangerous and yep that's a bad monkey so <laughs> and that teddy bear is uh, I don't like the way he's looking at me so when we come back out and run across the pressure plate the doors close automatically behind us because if those dangerous prisoners are after us we can uh, close the doors on them behind us and keep ourselves safe. So, uh, there's not really a gameplay mechanic uh, at work here. It's just something that I thought was kind of cool. And um, since I like to role play and tell stories, a combination lock prison door is something that, uh, that I wanted to put into my settlements. Now it's a little tricky to operate this thing if we don't turn the switch back off. The tumblers won't roll so the reason for the pressure plate is because I kind of wanted it to act like a dead man switch where if a guard going in decided that he didn't like the look of things he could immediately back out and try and reassess so you know if we don't lock the doors open we just step on that switch and then step back off all that happens is the doors flash open you can kind of get a peek inside so let's uh, let's first let's get rid of Piper because she I thought I got rid of her before we started recording and she is uh, well Yeah, go away, Piper. You were supposed to go back to Sanctuary, not hang out here. So let's uh, let's take a look and uh, and see how to build this thing. Now, I probably could have done a better job of hiding the wires, and I think once we get conduits figured out, we're going to be able to do some much better jobs of uh, of making wires disappear but I just wanted to show how this worked more than make it pretty. You can actually see this is, this is the first place that I built it, built it using the, uh, the DLC and it's pretty messy so I'm gonna be running back over here to use this area as reference. And although this is uh, something that looks kind of intimidating, if you follow the steps that I'm gonna do step by step you should be able to build it for yourself so 
And I've actually built this now a bunch of times. I did it once with mods, maybe twice with mods. Um, once over there with the uh, with the workshop DLC. Once over there with the workshop DLC. Then I did it once for practice, and then I did it once and didn't get any audio on the recording. And uh, and then I did it once, and, and so now here we are. So. Let's see here. We're going to need a big power pylon and we're going to need a switch and I'm just going to kind of set it here where we can see what's going on and I am actually going to go ahead and turn that switch off because we need it to be in the off position when we start. That pylon is just going to serve as a, uh, as a node. So the components aren't exactly the same as what we used over here. Over here we used a wall switch here and we used just a, uh, a ceiling mounted conduit up there instead of uh, that pylon, but it all is going to end up working the same. Now let's see what else we're going to need. I think the only things, other things we're going to need are we're going to need some delayed off switches. Oops. Yep. So we'll just take uh, three delayed off switches. We're going to want some power counters. While I program these counters, actually, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to remove this wire. I'm going to remove this wire because it's going to confuse me if I don't. And I'm doing this because when I program those counters, I don't want to accidentally mess up the counters over there. And if, uh, if your terminal's on the same circuit, even if there's an open switch, in between it will still mess with your counters that are on the same network so let's uh, get some power to that terminal I said let's get some power to that terminal um, oh this is in the way and let's go ahead and program our switches here so Now, while I'm doing this, I do want to encourage folks to still check out CAD PNQ's Advanced Settlement Power because he has still has some things in it that uh, that are more advanced than what Bethesda put into the Workshop DLC. So we're just gonna. Make the code one, two, three. I think that's the code on my luggage. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, I suppose I could have set this up in advance, but I did want to show just how the entire thing worked, and that includes making sure that those switches are just absolutely, completely, 100% isolated from the rest of your network. Now these, we can do all these at the same time. I find the delay of one second to be too long and the delay of one eighth second, oops, to be too short. Sometimes it will glitch those uh, those power counters if we set it just at an eighth and we don't need that anymore so kinda got all the preliminaries out of the way finally and we need an XOR gate and an XNOR gate to get started with our logic gates and man I have XOR I'm excited about these because there's going to be a lot of neat things, XOR and XNOR. Just double checking this because the first time I recorded this I actually got them backwards. And then we're also going to need 
three ore gates. I like that these gates can snap together. So, our first bit of power, let's double check, not do it from memory, we're going to do this right. First bit of power goes to the pressure plate and to the top gate there. So we go to the pressure plate, go to the top gate here. Now this, I do remember for sure, goes to both of these gates. And then remember where the second input <coughs> comes from on this. Yep. And having that functionality of showing where those wires are running is just a lifesaver. Um, I can't remember exactly what patch they added that in, but um, I am glad that they did it. So that goes there. And so we've got our pressure plate fully wired. We've got all our inputs on our XOR and next XNOR gates. So the next thing to do is this is just going to be kind of a common point for a lot of different things that big power pile on there you can use any kind of conductor or whatever i think you could even use a construction light if you wanted to so those gates are fully wired and if i remember right the inputs on these yep it's so one input goes to our switch and the other input goes to the delayed off switches. So let's go wire that up. So all three of them go to the switch. And then I like to go top to bottom on these to try and keep things straight. So we go from here to delayed off number one. We go from delayed off number two to gate two and delayed off three to gate three. So now we've got all of our inputs on our OR gates. This is what allows us to lock the door open, and this is what I was not able to do with the base game. So we get power here, and number two, and so we don't mix it up. We go to number three, and then this just goes to a door, door number two and door number three so um, <laughs> I uh, I hope you're taking notes um, something funny has happened here because that is supposed to have power on it what's going on this goes there and That's not right. Aha! I missed a step. So you can see that there's no input power for those uh, delayed off switches. I missed a step. And that is why I did not delete my reference and why I should not have tried to do this from memory, even though I've done it this many times. So. Here we go. Let's uh, now you can step on this uh, pressure plate and doors will open and shut. But uh, man, you could do this for a long time, and as long as the numbers are sufficiently different, you're not likely to get all three doors open at the same time. So let's uh, let's input our code of one.
to and it appears that my code is uh, 122 actually or 121 I have messed up that's okay so hit that switch to lock the doors open step on the pad and oh gosh darn it aha <laughs> because I had the terminal behind the uh, the doors I uh, I messed up and I had a code of 321 and that switch is also something that I left off of So yeah, even though I've done this this many times, um, I still mess it up. So apologies. We're gonna hook a wire here. There we go. So yeah, my terminal was behind this, these things, and so I got my code wrong. This middle one, yeah, is two. And this one. This one's one. So there we go. Code's three, two, one, not one, two, three. Very crafty of me. So we can lock the doors open. And if we step on the pressure plate, the doors close. So there you have it a combination lock door for your prison or your armory or anything else that is uh, that is worth locking up and keeping those pesky settlers out of the way so thank you very much for watching and sticking all the way to the end if you liked what you saw be sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more Take a look at some of the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see there, uh, hit subscribe. And if you didn't like what you saw, do me a favor and tell me why so that uh, I can try and do better next time. This is Nacho Business saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it. <laughs>